One of the reasons that people have a hard time with sales is they're concerned about all the rejection. And it's true, good selling involves hearing no a lot. Part of what I talk to people about is that no should be your second favorite word because you're gonna hear it a lot. Um, remember that no part of selling is about you, the salesperson. It's all about the buyer. And so it's not personal when we get a no, it's just a no and time to move on to the next. So one of the sayings that I have is some will, some won't, so what, who's next? Some people are gonna buy from you, some people won't, so what? Who's the next person I need to be talking to? If we take the no's personally, if we go on sales calls looking to make friends instead of realizing that this is a, can be a transaction or perhaps a longer term relationship, but remember, the relationship is not necessarily about friendship. It's about helping somebody, having somebody give you, trust you enough to give you money to make a problem go away. Some people will, some people won't. So what? Who's next? Be better. I'm Walker McKay with the No BS Sales School.